Hi there, and welcome to Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. This is a Moodle learning management system where you can take courses for free. And not only courses, you can also take online conferences. There are two three-day online conferences, workshops, and webinars. So let's get started with a Moodle training month. In the month of May each year, and I'm referring to 2024 right now, you'll be able to get Moodle training. There are three courses. One is called Moodle MOOC 24. The other one is called Develop a Moodle course. And the third one is for advanced Moodlers, very advanced. And it is called Manager of a Moodle site. So we're going to go through each of them. Notice if you're a beginner, if you have never used Moodle before, maybe as a student, but you have never taught using Moodle, then this course is for you. It is the very basic to learn how to Moodle in your own Moodle course space. So let's click on it and go there now. Notice it's now open to guests, so you don't have to log in. You can just view it and see what's available. There's a pre-orientation week and then uh, weekly badges, live online meetings, and then we start with weeks one to four. There are four weeks in each of these courses, and they all offer a certificate of completion once you complete all the tasks. If you look at the left here, you will see these course index content. There is the syllabus, and if you click on it, notice that's where I am right now. Syllabus of the course, it'll take you there. If you want to go back, you go back to opening the left here, and then you can go on to the other areas, such as watch how to navigate the course. If you click on it, you get a video and you watch that to learn how to navigate. Let's go back to the left and syllabus of the course. Notice if you go to the right here, you'll be able to open a block drawer. So let's click on that. And then you get the different areas, the table of contents with the abstract target audience and so on. So you can read through the book. You can also print the book by clicking on print book over here. Or you can go into the top here under more and then you'll get print book or print each chapter. In this case, it's the abstract. So in both places, print the book and it takes you to the login because you can't do it unless you log in. So let's go back now. So in order to reply or open any of the, uh, let's look back here, any of these sections, let's go back into the course over here, Moodle MOOC 24. And notice here we'll close the left index, course index. Now we only have the center. Now notice here if you go into any of these, for example, pre-orientation week. Let's close the left again. It won't open up once you're logged in, but for guests, everything opens up on the left when you go into it. So if you want to watch these recordings, you'll be able to do that because this is on YouTube. If you go into edit your profile and click on that, you'll be able to get the page. But if you would like to reply, you won't be able to notice you can do these things. So there are certain things that you can do and certain certain things that you cannot. Let's go back into the course. So try it out. Have some fun. It's going to be open for another couple of days for guests. And then you'll need to enroll. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to ask them in the comment box of this YouTube video. Let's go on to the introduction. Notice in the introduction, you'll be told to do the following. You can start practicing if you like. 
All right, but as I said, if you go into any of these, you only get the instructions. You do not have permission to view discussions in this forum. Okay, you can own, or if you go into any of the others. But you can look around, see what's available, get an idea of what you'll be learning, some of the links, until the course starts on May 1st. Let's go back now to the second course. We're going to go home and into, scroll down, into develop a Moodle course. Now, develop a Moodle course is only for teachers who have already taught using Moodle, whether at a university or a private organization. So they know how to work with the activities resources and blocks. They're familiar with that and they are going to create their very own Moodle course. Let's go into that because right now it's open to guess. Notice on the left here is the course index and you can see all the sections that are also available in the center. So if we close the course index on the left you'll be able to get all of this. This is Moodle 4.3. Point three, and the theme is move in case you're interested. So you can go through the course right now, the introduction that you'll be going through and then the activities in the center. Notice it aligns with the course index. This is week two and what you'll be doing in week two. And then there's another section for week two where you'll be learning about activity completion for forms. And then week three, you'll be learning about the blocks and how to add them to your courses. And you'll be adding them to your course because in week two, you'll be getting your very own course. And the course will be on teachers teaching teachers. So let's click on this. You can already go there and get an account. So let's do that now. So here we are. And notice there are names here for various courses. And your name will also appear. And you'll be able to add an image and make your course page beautiful. And you'll be working on your course. So your name will appear here. Let's go back to the course. So that's teachers teaching teachers. That'll happen in week two after you introduce yourself. And then there's week three, as I said, the blocks and then digital badges, how to add digital badges to your course. And you will have a few of them. Also, you'll be able to add a course completion that goes with the badge. They go side by side, so to speak. And you will be learning about that, how to integrate the two from the activities to the badges and the course completion. You'll also learn and create your very own certificate of completion in week three using Canva or any other tool that you like. And then, of course, uh, there's a showcase and reflect in week three, and you can take a look at the tools that are used there. And then you'll get your final certificate once you complete all the tasks with hours on them, completely free. Let's go back now to the final course. Let's go to this one course and then to the overview at the very top. Let's click on it and go back to the course. Home. Since I haven't logged in, that's the reason why we're doing it this way. And then manager of a Moodle site. Now this is only for those teachers or anyone who has taught and created a Moodle course, but would like to learn how to be a manager of their very own Moodle site or of a company's Moodle site or of a university Moodle site. So your Moodle site 
or someone else's Moodle site. So you'll be learning how to manage a Moodle site completely free. This is also a free four-week course with a final certificate. So let's go into that right now. And notice here on the left is the course index and the various sections each week. You can see that. And if we close that up, we'll be able to see it in the center as well. So everything that's on the left in the course index also appears at the top in this menu. And notice what you will be learning in week one. You'll be introducing yourself and learning about the layout and what you will be learning as a site manager. Now, a site manager is called a site administrator. Well, it goes under site administration. And I'll show you how that works because you'll be practicing on a site called blended online learning straight from week one. In week two, you'll be able to learn about the site administration as a manager in general, the general area, and then the users area, courses, grades, plugins, and reports. All these are available. So let's go into our blended learning where you will be learning this. Let's click on that. And this is the course that you'll be getting support from. You'll log in and get an account. Now, let me show you how that works. Now, notice I'm in as a manager. You'll be made a manager of the whole Moodle site. Let me go into the site administration here at the top. And this is what you will see as the manager of the site. Okay, you'll be able to see the general, which is this area over here. And then you'll be able to learn about the users and manipulate that. The courses, you'll be starting a category as well as a new course. You'll also be able to restore a course and so on. You'll have all these rights. You'll also be able to get an idea of what the grade report looks like, report settings, and you'll also be able to get the grades, general settings, grade category setting. You'll be able to develop all of these. Now, plugins, notice here, as a manager of a Moodle site, you cannot have rights to install plugins or anything related to plugins, but you do have some control over the question types. And then reports, this is what's available to you as the manager. If you click on reports, you'll be able to get comments, backup logs, live logs, question instances event monitoring rules, and you'll be able to also report builder, customize the reports. If you go under more, you get something else that's part of this uh, site. But if you want to look for something and you're in the general, you'll be able to find it by going again into site administration and getting all this information. All right, so let's go back now. So this is the manager of a Moodle site course that you will be working on in blended online learning so that you can practice there and not worry about practicing on your own if you have your own Moodle site or if you are working for a company or trying to get a job as a manager of a Moodle site. You'll also learn about hosting and where to host um, at a great hosting company that provides not only hosting but also installation of Moodle, upgrades, and support, ongoing amazing support at a very, very reasonable price, probably the cheapest anywhere uh, with that kind of capability and features as well as support of course so that's uh basically let's go back into home that's basically uh the three courses that are part of moodle mooc 24 that started in 2013 now we're in 24 so it's been 
11 years since we started. We used to have three Muda MOOCs a year, or actually four. We went down to three, two, and now it's only one every May for all three. Basic, which is those who have never used Moodle before or not really comfortable with it. Those that are very comfortable because they have taught it and they want to develop their very own Moodle course that they can back up and restore anywhere that they wish or just save until the day that they do have a place to restore the course. And then there's the manager of a Moodle site that I just explained where you are fully capable of creating your own courses and can go beyond. So thank you for watching and happy Moodling! Thank you.